Greetings, ladies and gents and everyone else. Welcome to the Walter Freeman Memorial Sanitarium. For those unfamiliar with the word, a sanitarium is a bit like an asylum, uh, except it's not just for the mentally ill, it's for the physically ill as well. Uh, specifically, it's a place for folks to recover, if they're going to recover, or to die in pleasant circumstances. Um, in either case, people without any medical cure. Uh, they've fallen out of favor now that we have better medicine, better hospitals, and a tendency to send people home to recuperate. Um, and here it is. It's a Victorian industrial. Uh, it's big. It's filling up most of the plot. There's a map. This is the XPD plot world. The plots are 201 by 201 blocks. And I've mostly filled it. Still a work in progress. Um, the third through fifth floors are not finished yet. I'm going to take a tour of the property before going inside. You'll note that someone has left their motorcycle and torn up the grass. It's a shame, because we actually have a garage. This road is outside the plot. I'm going to fly as little as possible because I've got a low frame rate uh, and I can move faster than the uh, uh, game can render. Here's the garage or carriage house. The, uh, the concept is that the the place was a Victorian mansion that's been converted to a sanitarium. Got some oil on the ground. Got this uh, this door, which I think is pretty clever. I see a name tag around. I assume that is Fly Guy, who's helped me with a lot of design. Ooh, he's doing some redstone. Huh. Well, we'll find out what that is later. Um, we've got a little cemetery for the, the few folks who've died here. Got a medical tent uh, for folks who need fresh air, but should probably still stay in bed. As we go round, we've got um, a nice fire pit for folks who want to hang out by the fire. I'm going to try and keep it moving fast, because there's a lot of ground to cover, and we don't want a, a half-hour video if we can help it. Got a picnic area. I mean, the idea is for it to be a pleasant environment. A little cook space that isn't currently being used. A couple covered areas. Um, these are based on uh, some picnic areas near where I grew up. I don't know if everyone has covered areas like that. Almost always cobwebs and spiders inside. I grew up in Maine, by the way, in the U.S., northeastern part of it. A little, uh, I guess it's a fishing hole. Fed by a stream, which in turn is fed by this little fountain. Splush. Um, however, for those who don't want to hang out with the wild water, we do have a lovely pool. You can see some folks have been hanging out. Uh, can't quite make it out through the water, but there's a mural of a fish on the bottom. This is another map that is not fully loaded. We're not going to spend time with it. The formal flower garden. Uh, Flyby helped me a lot with that. The lovely gazebo with little twinkle lights in the trees. Little kitchen garden. We've got another river that runs across the property. This whole uh, plot has been done by hand. No world edit creative mode, but by hand. Timely. I started on the 1st. It's currently the 18th of the month. Flag. A well. You'll note the well even has a bucket. The river goes this way. The bridge. I set myself the task of making a diagonal bridge, which was kind of a pain in the butt. And we're back to the front. Alright, so we'll look at the first floor first. Also, whoop, what happened to the map? There it is. There's the garden. I think the garden looks great on the map. So 
So into the entrance way. This is the uh, reception desk after uh, a model patterned by Fly Guy. I think I hear machinery running in the basement. <laughs> Here's our, our entryway. We'll note the decorative floor, decorative ceiling, and skylight dome. The grand staircase. Let's go left first. Dining hall. Let's take the flight. It's a little faster. Uh, and this area is for staff dining. It's a little more swank. And the kitchen. That's a door out to the uh, kitchen garden. Cutting boards, ovens, sinks, prep areas, uh, walk in freezer. Cooler, steam tables, kind of cafeteria style. Uh, fireplace. Sorry for the jumping around. Sometimes if there's a little bit of lag, I can't quite get the double space fast enough to, oop, fast enough to take flight. Uh, this place is crawling with decks and balconies, as you can see. Across the, the uh, main floor. We have a rack area, which I think needs a jukebox. We've got uh, a big TV. We've got a ping pong table, pool table, more hanging out areas, another fireplace, a games table, a library. Fairly simple library. Nothing too complicated here. And that's the first floor. I feel like I'm missing something. Oh, I am missing something. This is the uh, medication dispensary. And the head shrink's office. Dr. Killjoy. Which is a reference to a video game, if you happen to know it. Now back to the stairs to go up. I'm not flying. Stop. Fly. Fly. Fly, monkey. All right. We can move faster with flight, and I don't really want this to be long. That's to the downstairs, to the basement. We're going to go there last, and you'll see why. Second floor. Residential halls. Fancy, swanky carpets. Uh, some of the decor here is uh, flyby's work as well, like these. And two other folks helped me build these. Dr. Fanning Beg 07 and Thunder 1300. Oh, and by the way, I'm a doctor too. That's me. Uh, so let's go down the hall. In my experience, industrial buildings uh, tend to have wild carpets. There we go. Uh, there will be private rooms upstairs. We're not done with those yet. But everyone else is in these rooms at 8 to a room. My frames per second is not high. So if it gets really, really low, I want you to pretend it's a lovely, exciting slideshow. Right? Uh, before we go into the shower rooms, let's look at this little lounge. Uh, Orange Eater 247 um, started the lounge, and uh, I finished it, uh, sort of matching materials and that. It's got another one of these fancy ceilings. Yeah, someone tinged, that means someone said my name in chat. But I've got chat turned off, or hidden, for the record. I've got this little walkway, another balcony around behind the showers. This may be dolled up and a little fancier. Um, so we'll go into the shower. Oh, we have an extra glowstone piece. Bam! Alright, we've got the showers, sinks, a working mirror. Although I seem to have no soul, I must be a vampire. And a laundry chute for towels. we got damp towels there. Boop! Where to go? We'll find out later. Um, so both showers uh, are unisex, but 
mirrored. I don't have a little male and female. Um, the sanitarium is for everybody. And if they can't behave themselves enough to handle showering, then, well, maybe they'll get a sponge bath, bath, bath from the nurse. It's a little uh, non-denominational chapel. There's a font near the door. Um, the flaming chalice in the back is a Unitarian Universalist symbol. Uh, the last church I went to happened to have one. But any kind of service can happen in here, as needed by the... Let's call them clients. Right, the other side, I didn't get, has more more rooms, more or less identical. A nurse's station. So for folks who have um, kind of immediate needs, just a couple because you know they're in beds and there are nurses all over the place. Some filing cabinets with medical records. And a cactus, because one of the nurses that works here is just bad with plants. Um, and you know, you'll note we're in 172, which has a, a glitch in the bed. This is default texture. Now, mirroring the showers, we have actual bathrooms. So toilets. There's a, a trough-style urinal. Whoop, losing a little bit of frame rate. Got a bathroom. There's a toilet. Pretty fancy. There's the roll of toilet paper. Oh! There's no button in here. I think we need a button <laughs> to get out. As you can see, it's still a work in progress. And, in the corner, the general laundry. So we'll pop our clothes in there. Uh, we'll actually shortly go see where that went. Uh, back to the central area. I'm going to take a quick jaunt up to the third floor, uh, but only because there's a nice view up there. This really... Come on, fly. There we go. Uh, you can see we've got stairs. Um, I think this area right here is at... Oh, no, the other side. I mean, that is a nice view, too. That's a lovely view of the downstairs and this great big window configuration. Uh, the upper floors are mostly empty still. Fly! Ah, that's irritating. Come on. Ugh. I found if you're looking straight down or straight up, it seems to fly better. There we go. Um, as you can see, the, the upper floors are a bit smaller each. Uh, into the towers, we're starting to get uh, less fancy. I'm not entirely sure what's going on in the towers. The topmost floor has the uh, skylight dome in the middle of it. And there's a roof garden. Those are the tops of the towers. So now to the basement. There are uh, bulkhead doors on the outside. And also this door. Boom, boom, boom. Here's the basement. Dirt floor. Little, little mossy. Got some storage. There's more coming in here. But on one end is the laundry. Of course, you can't jump over fences. Boom. There's our clothes and some random crap. Because the inmates throw random crap. Right, hey, there's Flyby. Um, I can't chat with him right now. Because I have chat turned off. Uh, okay, about midway through through the... Uh, basement, we've got a morgue. And next to the morgue... There's actually a crematorium. Bada boom. Now 
This is intended to be a furnace. In another texture pack, the iron blocks are a bit rustier. Turn the furnace on. That's a bit loud. And then another laundry station just for the towels. Boom. Damn towels. We'll go out one of the bulkhead doors, and that's going to be the end of the tour. See? And we'll end up with a view of the garden. Hope you like the tour. Come to the XPD server. Uh, my lot is under my name, Skixual, S-C-I-X-U-A-L. Um, and once you visit the server, you'll figure out how to come to my lot. You should be finishing shortly, uh, because all the upper floors are smaller. And there'll be some more on the grounds, too. Maybe a croquet lawn or something. So, good night. Thanks for visiting.